Good morning guys and welcome from the first stop on this long travel day, the Boom Gorge. This road connects the capital city of Bishkek with the Isikul Lake which is the largest lake in Kyrgyzstan and today's idea is to get all the way to the southeast side of the lake to Altin Arashan Valley. In this valley it is most famous for its hot springs. But on this trip today we're going to have quite a few stops so it's going to be a lot of fun but it's going to be a long day as well. But it should be quite the adventure to actually get there because Alton Arashan is not very easily accessible so let's get the show on the road of course I decide that I really need to go to the toilet ah, he's a cool in the background anyways now oh my god somebody's poop chair okay so this is a spot where a lot of people come to poop and wee wee okay I'll make myself comfortable anyways now everybody's waiting for me while I go pee in the bush After a four hour drive, we have arrived in Barskun. I was a little bit drowsy coming in because I definitely fell asleep, but I mean, how can you say drowsy when you have views like this? Anyways, this place is known for the gold mining. And then also what they were saying is that the East Cool region used to be the holiday resort for USSR space people because they used to launch the space rockets in Kazakhstan and after that they'd come here to Isikul to have their holidays. For us the mission is to go and see uh, two of the waterfalls. There is also one at a high elevation which we can already see now but for the hike for today it's going to take a little bit too long. So we're going to go to the ones on the lower levels which I'm still very excited about because who doesn't love a good waterfall. One thing I'm a little bit bummed about that I didn't do or didn't bring is shorts because it's actually really hot. Now I'm hiking in my jeans. Okay, so as you can see behind me, we've made it to the first waterfall, which to be honest, wasn't even a 10 minute hike. So even though it was like very steep and very hot, as soon as you get into the forest, boom, here is your waterfall, which is pretty incredible. It was the end of waterfall number one. I was expecting us to have like a continuous trail and then going on to waterfall number two. But as you can see, we're actually walking down again. So I'm guessing the other waterfall is actually somewhere else instead of going more uphill. So I thought this little stream over here was already the waterfall. But now I look up and there is the waterfall. is so 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 special it's really impressive like when you're sitting somewhere and you've got like these massive big mountains next to you it's actually quite funny how humbling it is and how small you feel all of a sudden because sometimes we are the center of our own universe we are the center of our lives and when you out here like this you realize you are just a dot <laughs> and that can be a scary but also a very good feeling actually After another long drive, we have arrived at the Jeti Ogus Gorge and Jeti Ogus, translated in Kyrgyz, means seven bulls. Now, there is a certain legend about this area, about the seven bulls, and then also about this rock formation here, which is the Broken Heart. And that is that there was a warrior here who had a wife and she was stolen by another warrior. And the warrior obviously wanted his wife back so the warrior who took the wife decided to take some advice because he wanted her and uh, one of his advisors actually said why don't you send her back dead because he'd never mentioned how he wanted her so what this warrior did sorry for the confusing tale is he killed seven bulls one on each day of festivities and on the seventh day after killing the uh, last bull he also killed the wife but then this obviously didn't go unpunished her blood came onto this rock and the rock spewed out uh, hot water and killed the warrior who killed the woman and also his entourage. So I hope you were able to follow that story a little bit. Anyways, that is what they say the broken heart is actually from. It's a bit of a different story from what our guide told us because he had a different uh, story. He says that two guys were in love with a woman. Uh, they fought and uh, they both killed each other and that's why she was left with a broken heart. Anyways, there are lots of legends going on here, uh, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at that red rock with the lush greenness in the background. 
again forest over there so very pretty place just behind the broken hearts over there are the seven bulls and they are represented by the seven red clay rock so it's just a very quick stop here to enjoy the sights this is a place that i would actually like to stay a little bit longer but obviously when you're on an organized tour like this you only get certain breaks to go and see things so i would definitely recommend coming back here to just enjoy this maybe for a day or two actually go exploring the rock formations and stuff like that for now it's really awesome that we got to see it but we're going to be heading off to the city of karakol Well, we have arrived in Karakol, which is the fourth largest city in Kyrgyzstan, going across a broken road here. Yeah? And we're also only 150 kilometers away from the Chinese border. The idea is that we're going to be stopping here for food. We're going to go to a cafe because at Alton Arashan, we're going to be staying in a yurt and it will probably just be a soup. So we're making a quick city stop to get some grub in our tummies. <laughs> This is an English menu? Oh my word. Okay. Oh, so I can actually see. And it's also got the vegetarian thing. Oh, great stuff. So I know what yeah, one is vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, this is a whole vegetarian menu. <laughs> You're surprised. I'm so happy. <laughs> We have finished our dinner and I think everybody feels a lot better now with some grub in the tummies. We're going to go back to the vehicle now and then we are going to change vehicles and then finally head off to the last leg towards Alton Arashan. The reason we need to change the vehicle is because this road to actually get to this valley is extremely difficult uh, and not suitable for normal cars or a touring vehicle. So, <laughs> I'm really curious to see in what type of car we're going to be getting to make that last leg of the trip. Oh my goodness guys, we're definitely getting an upgrade from the normal van to the big truck behind us. You even have a ladder to actually get into the truck and the wheels are absolutely massive so this already says something about what the road is going to be like if you need a car like that how long is the drive uh, one and a half or two hours one and a half to two hours yeah two hours oh my word <laughs> yeah. that, that's uh, the beginning it's gonna get worse yeah oh, okay. oh my gosh <laughs> okay Luggage is falling on the floor, I think it's probably better if it's just there. Oh my goodness. Vita, how's it going in the back there? <laughs> how is it going? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're holding up for dear life, oh my god. Oh, I was sitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, probably not the best time to do a video again, but I just want to give you a real recap on how this feels. I feel like my intestines are getting continuously body slammed. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was definitely not expecting it to be this rough. There is no way that a normal car is going to be coming through here, and I think the majority of 4x4s will also get stuck. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We've got people roughing it on the ground over there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Shoes. shoes. No smoking, no shoes. I'm taking the one in the back there, just so that you know. Ah, very nice. Ah. You got this one? <laughs> we got such a good group. <laughs> I'm not over exaggerating when I think that that is probably the wildest ride I have ever had in my life. And I think that a lot of people that were in that truck could agree with me. We had cliffs, we had rocks, we had riverbeds, we had everything. I'm just very curious what it's actually going to look like when we go through it in daylight because now we only saw it in the dark. We have arrived at the yurt camp though. 
I don't know if you can see it, probably way too dark, but we've made ourselves comfy inside of the yurt and um, yeah, then I'm curious to go check out what it looks like outside. Also, I don't think the ride took an, an hour or two hours. I think it was close to 45 minutes actually. So it wasn't that long. Uh, we have arrived now, I think it's like quarter past nine in the evening. Um, but yeah, definitely way too dark to actually show you what it looks like. Hello. Say hello to the yurt. Hello girls. Hello. Hello, hello Rita. <laughs> it is so dark in here, so I'll show you guys a bit more tomorrow. The idea is that we just arrived and the girls were like, yeah, you're gonna go with us to the hot springs? And I was like, wait, what now? They're like, yep, now. So we've got our bathing suits on under all of this and uh, we're gonna go find some hot springs. Actually, what Alton Arashan is famous for. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is so hot. What? What the watch is so hot. <laughs> 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 <sighs> okay guys, so the hot spring, as you can see, we finally adjusted to the temperature. It is absolutely amazing. But this is where I'm gonna round off the video. I noticed that with the lights gone that it's very hard to film. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this adventure and saw how to actually get to Alten Arashan and how adventurous that can be. But tomorrow I'll show you this place in daylight and then you guys will get a better impression of, a better impression of it. Okay, I'm going to enjoy the water. Bye bye. <laughs>